Yeah. Derek, that you're looking at right there, he had to buy last night as well. So he, we didn't see him. So this is his first fight his of the first weekend. Fight. And last night, corner. this gentleman had an outstanding fight to finish our night. He sure did. He stopped probably maybe the favorite, maybe not. I think maybe either him or Gabriel or Lambert were the favorites to win this. So one of them's gone. Gabriel's still here. This is the guy that sent the other one home. So. Yeah, he sent Keho home for sure. Uh, he may have been sent him to the hospital with broken ribs is what I'm hearing. Yeah, he was banged up there pretty good. It took a while to get him out of the ring. Keho has definitely got a uh, following around here for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And this young man is ready to go. Weighing at 232 pounds. He stands 6'2", 23 years of age. He's a personal trainer from Buckhannon, West Virginia. He works at Anytime Fitness of Buckhannon. He drew the bye last night in the heavyweight division. This is his first fight. He is ready. He's been ready. First Please fight of the weekend. Derek. Rico Valerico. Rico Valerico. Valerico. Here we go, folks. Rico looks like he might have been in the gym once or twice. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty, pretty well put together for it. Got his head movement good. See how long this head movement lasts. Oh! Now, this is what we see in heavyweight tuck man, boys. Oh, Kurt doesn't stop. He keeps coming. He's, they're, they're ready to rock and roll. He stays right on him. Well, Rico is trying to keep that head movement. Starting to slow up a little bit, though, because he's getting tapped. Yeah, he needs to throw some punches. You don't have a lot of time to, to move around in there. you got to score punches. You're only fighting for a minute at a time. A round, I mean. Excuse me. Turning that head, not looking where the punches are coming from. He don't want to sit there and wait on this boy. We'll find him. Oh, he found him. That's exactly what he was talking him. about right there. Four, that five, sweet chin music. Seven, eight, seventy-eight count. That's the end of the round. Yeah, the guy throwing all those punches. That's not that. Referees will take care of that now. Yeah, that's a common, uh, common thing with these up and coming fighters. They kind of want to look at their instructions. That'll get you your mouthpiece knocked out to the other side of the ring real quick. That's exactly right. Round two. Mouthpiece went to the crowd, I believe. Three, four, five. This is what we're talking about, tough man. Gets an Back eight up, count. rock and roll. He's going to tell him I need my mouthpiece. What a gentleman. I'd have just dusted it off. Ah, that's all I did with him. Put him I back in. Dust it off. Get it in there, buddy. A little bit dirt's not going to hurt him. You put it in. <laughs> a little Parker bit dirt's not going to hurt him. Ringside, Alan Parker needed that ring. All right. Back to the Hi. action. Get out of that yeah, corner. That's not a good place to be with that big boy on you in the corner like don't that. Don't get him hurt, this guy. This probably needs to stop this. Say it's getting close. Uh, it's beyond what I would have had. Get here and that's stop it, it Brian. No, uh, you should have stopped that. He made it to the round. He did. Wow, he did. Saved by. Now, if that's going to be a saved by the bell, then that expression ain't worth saying. Because that was saved by the bell right there. I got the, the former winner of uh, you got Ron Collins, the winner of the last fight here with me. The ring dude. Ron, folks, third and final round. And we'll see what happens with Mr. Villarico this round. I, I mean, he's standing there. He's, he is. he's taking some shots. He took a little more than I'd let him take, and I can tell you that. I probably would have stopped that. He's just right there. They're right there. Too easy yeah. to be hit. Yeah, I don't know. I'd say... It's coming real soon. I don't see him taking two bets. Wow, this job. I, I mean, he yeah, keeps coming. But he's not doing anything. He's just, just kind of throwing it, but he's not hitting anything. Ref's not doing a very good job this round for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Looks like our man just hit the wall, too, though. Mr. Carr. 
starting to feel it. Yeah, he's sucking there. He's sucking a little there. So that's not good for all the other heavyweights. No, that's right. Get this man in the third round. Left. Things are going to slow down a little bit. Well, you got to figure too that uh, Gabe had a, his Gabe uh, Lambert. His first fight was uh, he didn't Hi. extend too much.